Okay, now we're going to open a design and convert it to um, the needed format for the Genome 200E. First thing we're going to do is we're going to have open our My Editor software. And within the My Editor software, once you're here, you want to click on File, Open. Then you'll need to locate um, your embroidery designs. I have, um, for example, here's my desktop. Um, I have my embroidery designs stored in my documents folder um, in a folder called embroidery designs, obviously. And in here I have several other folders that have designs. Um, I'll go ahead and open that particular folder that said holiday Christmas designs. You'll notice that in, I'll go back here, you'll notice that there's some files in this folder, but when I click on it, there's nothing here. So the first thing we're going to want to do is right now it's looking for NGS um, formatted designs, which there's none in this folder. So first thing we need to do is we need to change this drop down to show all embroidery files. And there we go. Now all our files are showing and we can click on them and we get a, a nice little preview right here. These particular files, if I'm not mistaken, are in a DST uh, format. And so we'll go ahead and open one of these. We'll do the snowman. I now have that snowman open and in order to convert it to the format that we need to work on the Genome 200E, um, we will need to convert it to the JEF or JEF format. To do so, you'll just have the design open like I showed you. Click File, click Save As. I suggest renaming the design so it just so you'll know um, it's different. So for example, I'll name this uh, Snowman hyphen JEF. Don't use any dots. Um, also uh, in your file name just uh, letters, um, numbers, and hyphens um, will work. Don't use any symbols, just letters, hyphens, and numbers. Um, I've also found that sometimes the numbers might be a little quirky for the machine. So the best bet is just to use uh, letters and hyphens. No spaces. So I'm going to name him uh, snowman-jeff and here it's asking me what format I want to save to and I don't want to save to the NGS format. I'm going to go ahead and open this and come on down here to uh, Genome JEF. This is the standard JEF format. The JEF Plus is for higher model machines uh, to the 200E. So we're just going to stick with the standard JEF format. We'll go ahead and choose that from our uh, drop down and it's going to save it into uh, my holiday Christmas designs folder if you want to change where it's saving it um, you can just choose this drop down and choose one of your uh, other file paths as you can see it shows the hierarchy here um, which is my libraries uh, my name my username uh, my documents which is where my folders are embroidery designs, holiday embroidery designs, so it's kind of like a tree here that shows you uh, how to get to where that design is. So I'm going to keep it there in the holiday Christmas designs. Go ahead and click on save. And here it's going to ask me um, machine coding and it, it does some different features there for various model machines. For the um, Genome 200E, just choose normal Jeff or Genome generic um, and just keep the maximum stitch length and design between objects the default here which is 12.6 uh, millimeters uh, through 4.0 millimeters just keep that there and then we'll go ahead and click on OK it tells you the stitch count how many stitches are in this design 3730 and I'm gonna go ahead and minimize this now we are going to put in our um, USB memory stick that we brought over from the machine that we had formatted in the machine just a few minutes ago. I'm going to go ahead and stick that in the computer now. And you'll see that it's coming up uh, showing that it's saving it or uh, installing its drivers. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and open it. 
And on here, you can see there is our EMB folder. Inside that EMB folder is an EMBF folder. And this is the folder we're going to need to put our designs in. So, I'm going to go ahead and minimize all this down. And we're going to go here to our start button. Go to computer. This is the uh, removable disk that I just, the USB stick that I just put in. I'm going to double click that. Get this open, EMB, EMBF. Now we're inside the MBF folder. I'm going to just keep this um, over here. Now I'm going to start button again. I'm going to go to my documents. I'm going to go to my embroidery designs folder, my holiday Christmas designs folder, which is where I stored um, that snowman uh, Jeff design which is right here snowman Jeff and the reason it has a different icon is because um, I have some Janome software installed on this computer so it's picking it up that it's a Jeff formatted design so that's why you're seeing a different icon here no big deal and I'm just going to right click click copy now I can get rid of this and here is our USB memory stick which is computer removable disk EMB, EMBF folder. I'm going to right click and paste this design right inside of there. Now our um, design is now on our USB memory stick and you'll notice type it says Janome Embroidery Design. And we'll go ahead and X out of here and now we'll go ahead and remove our USB stick and I'm going to now go back to the machine and show you uh, the design pulled up on the machine.